Hello, Oasis Network community. Today, I've got a super exciting video walkthrough of the new Oasis Web Wallet. It's been one of the most requested features from the community. Both these wallets, the Web Wallet and the browser extension that we're going to go through today, are uh, created by some of the amazing community members who are awarded grants to support the Oasis Network and build um, these platforms for us. So remember, if you do want to get involved with Oasis and help grow the ecosystem, just head over to oasisprotocol.org to find out how you can get started. So as I said, it's been one of the most requested features. Let's jump straight into the, the new front page for everything Rose Token related, which is this, the Oasis wallet front page. So you've got two options, access an existing wallet or create a new wallet. To access an existing wallet, you're going to need a, a mnemonic phrase saved or a ledger with some existing Rose tokens or a Rose wallet on it that you can connect. For the purposes of this video, we're going to create a new wallet because most people are going to be starting from scratch. So let's click create wallet. You're going to be given this mnemonic phrase that you're going to copy or copy down somewhere safe that can't be stolen. And then once you've done that, you're going to click I save my key phrase, open my wallet and confirm your mnemonic phrase that you copy it down correctly. Then you're going to be greeted by this beautiful screen where you can see your total balance, your available rows, your staked rows, or, and the amount of rows you have in the bonding. You can enter a recipient address and send rows, and here is your address to uh, receive rows. You can also state your tokens uh, with our existing network validators. You can see the amount they've got staked here and the percent fee as well on main, you'll be able to see that. Once you want to stake something, you, you can stake a minimum of 100 rows with any validator, delegate those funds to them, and it's going to immediately show up. So I'm going to jump into an existing wallet with some test tokens in and show you some of that functionality. So you can see here, we've actually got a few transactions. We've got some rows in our wallet and uh, we have some staked and we have some going through the bonding process. So I actually want to try and send some of my tokens to a friend. So why don't we bring up this wallet address, copy and paste that over, and we're going to send over a thousand tokens to our new fresh wallet. So you see you get a pr transaction preview. You just want to click confirm if everything's correct. And around about six seconds, that should be um, a successful transaction. So now I want to decide to stake some rows and earn some yield. So I'll head over to the stake area of the app where I can see the different validators on the network. I'll choose whichever validator that I want to stake my funds with and I'll send over a delegate amount of, let's try 200 rows to this validator, click confirm and once that goes through, you can go over to active delegations. You can see right here, my delegated 200, and you can also reclaim that rose immediately. So here is where it says corresponding number of shares. So if you have staked your tokens for a longer period of time, then this is where you'll see the difference between what you originally staked and what your what rewards you're about to get back. So any typically a larger percentage here you'll see a, a larger number here um, and you're, you can reclaim any amount. So any amount of, of those tokens can be reclaimed. Yes. It does take a certain period of time, typically around 14 days at the moment to debond. But once that's done, you'll also see in debonding the yeah, epoch or the estimated epoch that your funds are about to be released. So that's it. That is everything you need to do to send and receive rows to view your transactions, to see the different validators on the network and stake tokens with them, and then to reclaim those tokens. Let us know in the community, Telegram, Discord, or Slack, if you've got any more questions on the web wallet and how it works.